Hi everyone, my name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems, and welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how to do a basic color calibration on your Kyocera device. A color calibration is used to fix minor image quality issues, including, but not limited to, hazing around images, lines uh, in copies, uh, color output not necessarily matching the output that you're expecting. Now, performing a color calibration every three to five months is recommended for maximizing the printed output quality uh, of your MFP. The process that I'm going to walk us through today is multi-step. Uh, and includes several different steps that involve cleaning the different processes of the machine uh, that relate to image creation. So without further ado, let's get started. From the interface of the copier, first thing you'll do is you'll hit the system menu button. You will go to the second page and what you're looking for is adjustment and maintenance. Select that. So the first thing we do when performing a color calibration is we start with something called a drum refresh. What this essentially does is it essentially cleans the drums that uh, help lay the toner onto the page. Once the drum refresh is completed, the screen will show that and you'll select the OK button. The next thing that we do after performing a drum refresh is we're going to be looking for the option to run what is called a developer refresh. Click Start and allow the developer refresh to take place. Once the developer refresh has completed, select OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do what is called a laser scanner cleaning. Once the laser scanner cleaning is complete, you'll select OK. You will go up and find the calibration option. You'll select Next and you will run a calibration. Once the calibration is complete, there are simply two steps remaining. The next thing that you must do is you must run what is called a color registration. You're going to run an auto color registration. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate a printed piece of paper that you will need to run from the document processor. So select start. It'll run through another short calibration sequence and then it will print out some colored output, which you will then run on the glass of the copier. The last step in running a full color calibration is to do a tone curve adjustment. This is going to result in two printed sheets of colored paper, which we are then going to run off of the glass. So select start. It'll once again run another short calibration sequence, and then it will print two sheets of printed paper, which you will run from the glass. And there you have it. Once the tone curve adjustment is complete, you can hit the home button of your copier. And now your machine has been cleaned and calibrated to produce the best color output that it can. In today's video, we walked through the multi-step process of calibrating the color output on your machine. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. Thank you for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you all again. Have a great day.